Bioengineering the Senses, a closer look at the technology on the frontiers of medical science. How to fix color blindness. We meet the Berkeley scientists behind a new pair of glasses that seem to solve the problem. Are these all the same? Yes, they are. Okay. <laughs> all those colors across the street looked like they were the same color a few minutes ago. Those leaves up there are pretty amazing, too. They're seeing real color for the very first time. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Color blindness affects 1 in 200 women, but as many as 1 in 12 men. That's 30 million people in the U.S. alone. Now, for $429, researchers at Enchroma in Berkeley, California, say these glasses could make life more colorful for about 80% of colorblind people. Somebody who has normal color vision, the blue, the green, and the red are separated from each other. Someone with color deficiency, the green and the red cones overlap too much. So the glasses work by simply going in there and if you can visualize, it's just cutting out certain wavelengths of light. The magic is in the lenses, modeled from substances called dyes. They cut out a small part of the light spectrum, mainly the wavelengths corresponding to yellow light, while letting the rest of the light shine through. The effect is in the colors, like greens and reds jump apart from each other, making the difference between the colors more clear. People get kind of quiet when, well, I think it's simply that they're just getting a lot of information. Those neural mechanisms are finally firing. They're seeing things they've never seen before. When I first put the glasses on, I can actually see a lot of difference. Flowers, even on the way over, just amazing. It's an immediate sense that something is different, but minute one, minute two, once I started to figure out kind of what colors were different, especially for me, red and purple were extremely pronounced. This is a very overwhelming kind of palette of colors to look at. <laughs> Under development for a decade, supported by funding from the National Institutes of Health, and Chroma has raised just one and a half million dollars in angel funding. It's been a bit of a struggle uh, because there aren't really a whole lot of venture capitalists that specialize in the optical field in particular and uh, you know consumer packaged goods. Nevertheless, the company is developing glasses for indoor color vision and with prescription lenses and has ambitions to break into the pediatrics market. And beyond that, let's see what comes out of their research into contact lenses for the colorblind.